I'm doing my job and a weapon is, is brandished in my workplace as I'm trying to do my job. And it remained pointing at me as I had to argue the rest of the hearing. That lawyer for Pittsburgh Company is accusing a West Virginia judge of pulling a handgun from his robe and pointing it at her in court. Tonight, she wants that judge removed from the bench. KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan joining us live now with these startling allegations. Andy. Christine, the lawyer has made more than one trip here to Pittsburgh FBI headquarters describing what she calls a terrifying ordeal of having a gun pointed at her in open court. It started off with a bang. And luckily, it did not end that way. Attorney Lauren Varnado had been defending the Pittsburgh-based EQT Corporation in the New Martinsville, West Virginia courtroom of Judge David W. Hummel, Jr., when she says the judge pulled out a Colt 45 pistol from a shoulder holster underneath his robe. He pulls out his gun, points it in a waving motion, like kind of scanning, you know, defendant's counsel places it on the bench, I'm standing, and then slowly turns it to make sure the barrels are still pointed at me. The bizarre act came in the middle of a contentious legal dispute over gas drilling and mineral rights. Vornado said there had been bad blood from the start since she had questioned Hummel on whether he was not conflicted since a relative had sued EQT on a similar claim. He dismissed the jury and yelled at me for 45 minutes including profanity um, and personal attacks. During the trial, Varnado, who said she had been threatened at a local restaurant, had been escorted in and out of the courtroom with security. But one morning, Judge Hummel barred her security from the courtroom, saying, quote, I have bigger guns than they have. That's when she says he pulled out his own gun and left it on the bench, pointed at her. Were you threatened with your life with your safety if the gun was pointed at you in the moment in my head i was thinking surely he's not gonna do anything i mean surely it's not loaded i do know that it's not proper gun safety to hold a gun that way to point it at people to leave it laying around judge cummel's office says the judge is prevented from making comment at this time but EQT issued a statement supporting Varnado and chastising the judge's alleged actions. Quote, a courtroom is meant to be a place of honor, respect, and dignity. EQT is committed to prioritizing the safety of our employees and partners no matter where they work. We are thankful for the service of Ms. Varnado and her colleagues and relieved that they were not injured. The parties in the case have settled out of court, but in addition to speaking with the FBI, Varnado is cooperating with the West Virginia Judicial Investigation Commission, which she says has an ongoing investigation of the judge on unrelated matters. And what do you think should happen with Judge Hummel? He cannot stay on the bench. Um, outside of that, I don't know. And that's really my goal is to, is to get a change there. Well, the West Virginia Judicial Commission had no comment on this, and likewise, the FBI here in Pittsburgh says they will not confirm nor deny the existence of an investigation. Reporting live on the South Side, Andy Sheehan, KDK News.